Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kojimo here back with another video. Today we will be doing the PGL Copenhagen 2024 pickums. The time is finally here. I'm going to teach you how to do these. So for the first thing I want you to do is go over here to the Copenhagen, Copenhagen major hub and items and go ahead and press get pass. Sorry, I just woke up guys. This is early. We're going to go ahead and buy this pass and get it checked out here. You can't see my info. I don't want to show you my address or anything like that. But now we have our Copenhagen viewer pass, right? So now what we need to do is press activate pass now and boom, we have it all activated and all that is left is for us to make some picks. Now there have been some changes from last year and as we can see, there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's no stickers out yet. I might make a video on the stickers when those are released, but for now that's fine. We're just going to make some picks and have a good time with this. So first I do want to fill in my 03 picks and it's a little bit different. This is a little harder. I, I'm, I'm not sure exactly the best strategy with this format, but I'm going to use some strats from last year. So for the 03 pick, I think the team that I'm going to put in 03 is going to be Legacy. And then I think Lin Vision. I think those two teams are safe to put into the 03 category because they are the lowest rated teams. They come from non-European regions, so they might struggle against European dominated competition or competition from outside of their own region. I think that Legacy is one of the weakest South American teams. Maybe you could put Pain in there, but I actually think Pain is pretty solid. Um, so for sure, I'd say Legacy is one of the weakest and then Lin Vision is just the weakest Asian team and usually it's a good idea to put um, the weaker of the Asian teams inside of the O3, but who knows, we might be wrong with that. Again, at the end of the day, we don't know anything about this. So in the 3-0 category, guys, you don't want to put the best team, right? You don't want to put the best team in case that they don't go through, right? So we don't want to put like Ants or Cloud9 um, in case they actually just you know, lose one game, we think that they're going to go through. So I think uh, we'll save the 3-0 pick uh, for after we fill out the 3-1 and 3-2, right? So I think a, th a safe pick here is Ents. That's very satisfying right there. And like I said, I think another safe pick would be Cloud9. These two teams are very solid overall. They know what they're doing. And I just think that it's pretty solid to put them there, right? So we're going to put Ents and Cloud9 in that category. I think Heroic can get slid over here too. Why is the old Heroic logo here? That kind of makes me mad. I don't know why this logo is here. Um, part of me thinks that Valve didn't think a, a lot about this, right? Why is there no stickers? Why is all this? What is going on, guys? Like, I, I'm a little confused by that. I think a Dark Horse in this tournament and someone that might actually have a really good chance to make the big stages inside of this major is Eternal Fire. Eternal Fire is seemingly is so hot right now they they're just insane they're grinding the game so much all the players are just in fpl non-stop outside of practice and those guys just have so much passion for the game i could see them making a big run like kind of like bad news eagle style right where maybe they're not the best team in the tournament but they just work so hard and you know they got their national team so i, I believe in the turks i think they might have a good performance and and make it pretty far um so the last two spots are kind of up for grabs here i'm not sure exactly what would be the greatest picks but we can use our our insight to kind of make some decisions here i think that apex is pretty strong they've they've got a lot of experience on the roster i'm going to slide them over there again these last two spots are kind of up for grabs and we don't need to get every single uh pick correct we just got to get five of them right so we're looking for five so we're hoping at least one of these go through you know then we got ants cloud nine and heroic hopefully they just go through and then eternal fire has a good chance apex you know it's it's fine i think i might also just throw in I, why i believe in one of these these teams i think i'm gonna throw in i want to put in furia but furia has just d disappointed me time and time again i think that instead of doing that i'm just gonna put i think i'm gonna put koi going through that's just a random team uh that i think has a lot of potential that could go through so let's go ahead and uh but with that being Saul has been really good guys actually you know what I, you know what I'm putting Saul in there. This might haunt me, but Saul has been in such good form recently. I'm having so many good results, so maybe they can slide through as well. So that's our 3-1 and 3-2 picks. Let's go ahead and slide over to our last remaining picks now, the 3-0 category. Now, 3-0, this is a little hard. I think that for me, I'm going to put Furia in the 3-0. I don't think that they're actually going to go 3-0, but they do have that experience. They have the caliber of players that for some reason could go 3-0. Like, they really could, so... You know, I think that it, it could be possible. Um, obviously, you're more likely for like an Ents or Cloud9, but I'm going to say, you know, just throw a Furia in there. And if they don't go 3-0, who cares? Whatever, right? And then I guess we can slide in 
one of these random EU teams, do you think maybe the Russians just pop off or I don't know, or do we believe in Koi? Or the nine pandas. I'm excited to see that sticker. I think we'll just slide Koi in here. This pick doesn't really matter, guys. You can throw any of these teams in here, really. I wouldn't put Imperial, but any of these EU teams, pandas, uh, Static, or M call. So I could see a world where a Static go 032. Like, not, not that I want them to, but I really could. So we're going to go ahead and save those picks, guys. That's what we're looking at right now. That's what we're cooking with. And yeah, we're having a good time. And hopefully, you guys do well with your pick -em. So. Make sure to check out all of my other tips and tricks on my channel. I go live every single weekday. Don't miss out on those live matches, and we'll have a good time together. So thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace out.